Smash Brothers Ultimate. They were streaming the B Squad. Um, they lost last week in a close match. They are looking to get back in the winner's column today. I am joined remotely by the one and only voice of Emory and Henry Esports, Jay underscore. Jay, what's hey, up? Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? I'm good. Um, second week as a fill-in here. Uh, Scoob is currently sick, so... Yeah, I was sick last time. Uh, you know, it's somewhat likely that next time you'll be sick. Uh, no. Let's hope not, but, you know... Yeah, gosh. I've been sick the last two weeks, on and off, so... Oh, you probably already had it, then. Fingers crossed, did. but... Yeah. Yeah, looking forward to a exciting matchup today for the B-Squad. A-Team is playing at 8.30, and so um, we figured this would be a good opportunity to get the the B-Squad on air and get them some uh, time. So a little bit of an introduction. We have uh, returning this semester on the B-Squad, we have Eli and Avery, and we have a new addition to the team. His name is Neil, and... Yeah, looking forward to seeing them play. I know I've played against Eli and Neil at our weeklies the last two weeks. They both oh, beat yeah. me pretty good. So, <laughs> <laughs> And a Avery uh, ended up, I think, fourth. And so um, they've been putting in the work. So it should good. be a fun yeah. time. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to get back into it. I was sad I couldn't make it last time uh, for the you know first game of the season. But here I am now. And it's always fun to see new blood you know, and see sort of what they bring to the table, what kind of characters they like to play, um, you know, what kind of play style they have. So I'm excited to see Neil, you know, uh, Rocket. And I guess this is his stream debut, right? Since, yes. um, yeah, so, you yep, know, no pressure. Neils. So um, a little bit of a character breakdown. Eli has Greninja. He's been working on a Link, I know, as well. Um, Avery has been playing all sorts of stuff. I think Inkling is one of the characters, me, Gunner and some other random ones like Dark Pit. And then Neil, which I think he is starting, which based on the corner, plays Mega Man and Zero Suit Samus. So I was nice. victim of both of those in our tournament um, <laughs> that last two weekends ago. Um, but yeah, he plays Mega Man. I guess Mega Man was his main, he told me, in Smash 4. Um, right, and yeah. He picked up Zero Suit Samus as well. And so plays both at a pretty high level. So yeah, right out the gate, we get to see... Um, Neil, so that's going to be awesome. And it looks like yeah, I'm excited, SFU, and I love Mega Man. SFU Esports. I'm not sure what that stands for. Saint Francis, uh, Aaron tells me. Which big shout out to Aaron running our stream tonight. As Saint always. Francis. Yes. So, um, unfortunately, you know, Jay, our, our Valorant team and our league teams this semester didn't. Uh, we didn't have enough people to field the rosters. Um, yeah, that's act. a big bummer. Yes, so we did field an Overwatch, or another Overwatch team um, picked up some more people like we talked about it on last stream, but uh, exciting announcement, uh, Jay underscore and Scoob are working on a weekly recap show uh, for our yes. eSports, so why don't you tell us a little bit about that, Jay? Well, hopefully we'll be having the first episode out uh, early next week, which will be a recap of this week, including um, this game. Uh, we're hoping for it to be a sort of short little show where uh, Scoob and I talk about what games were played, uh, how the records went, um, show some highlights from different games, and get someone on to be interviewed, whether it's a player or a coach or something, to talk about how they're feeling. Uh, it should be about five minutes. I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, it'll be a good way to keep up with some of the games that we're not able to stream. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, looking forward to it. Uh, you know, get more content is always better. So looks like yeah. we're on PS2 to start, and looks like it's a Mega Man versus Cloud. Um, yes, uh, I, and I, like I said, I love Mega Man. He has some really strong moves. His uh, forward air, which he, he's using already, is uh, especially good. Um, it can really it can string into itself, I believe. Uh, meanwhile, Cloud, you know, classic sort of you know, uh, character for competitive Smash, uh, has a lot of strong options, but, um, Mega Man can really stuff, uh, a melee character like Cloud with, uh, sort of projectile and spacing, um, and weird tricks. Good up smash there. Um, yeah, he definitely took advantage of that flame sword, uh, side smash against me multiple times. Yeah. He uses the leaf shield to do spacing, um, as well, and then the saw blade as well. So, pretty even matchup so far. It looks like Neil is getting a good start and gets a nice... Oh, what a off. forward smash. That was nasty. Yeah. It would have killed if he didn't get hit in return, I think. But, yeah, yeah Mega Man, a unique character. Um, that is a great up that smash kill. to Neil. Wow. Stock. Yeah, 
And as a huge fan of the Mega Man games, it's cool to me how they've incorporated, you know, like the the punch and yeah, you know, the all the different things that are from the games, like into his kit. And his so, forward smash being cool. a charge projectile is really cool. Nice, uh, yeah. sort of confirmed from that uh, sticky bomb into the um, into the saw blade. Uh, yeah, he's playing really well. He's definitely yeah. setting a pace for this game, and he's he's definitely in kill range for some of Cloud's uh, options, but. Uh, that shouldn't do it, and uh, it seems like Mega Man's gonna be able to. I mean, he might get another stock before he loses his. Yeah, and that leaf shield's so annoying, right? You just like yeah. walk on top of the person, and yeah. that's probably gonna be. Yeah, yeah that'll do you it. Um, but yeah, Neil doing a great job. Uh, stream debut here, looking at pretty good to start. Um, has the advantage on the cloud. I'd like to see Neil as a few times. Uh, he's like has an opportunity, probably out of shield, to grab um, this cloud, especially like on the ledge. So yeah. um, look and see if he's able to, you know, pick up on that read. That's the fun, the fun thing about the crew battles in this is like, you know, the first time you play somebody, it's almost like a feeling out process mm -hmm. to kind Absolutely. of see what they like to do. And then from there, it's like, okay, cool. That's a nice, yeah, he's using that shield to keep him like being hit as that bomb yeah. goes off. So, yeah, it's, oh, it's a really oh, strange, yeah. like, and the thing about Mega Man in general is he has lots of really interesting strings that are enabled by the bomb and the shield. There you can see he's using that, uh, ooh, wow, yeah, good response from the cloud. Cloud. And yeah, I mean, this cloud is definitely, it, it's funny because Mega Man has to do a whole lot of stuff to deal damage, whereas Cloud is such a like, you know, heavy hitter of a character that you, you just need a couple of the wrong moves and suddenly you're like on equal percentage. Um, yeah. Good recoveries but, uh, though yeah. from uh, from Neil on the Mega Man, like going low to avoid those projectiles from Cloud. Yeah, um, the Cloud really struggles with ledge guarding low, so it, it's definitely the right option. Uh, his recovery is kind of eh, um, so he's playing it well. Uh, it's close right now. It's very close. Nice, good evade there. That should oh, almost oh, a kill. almost got the looking, punch. Yeah. Looking for the confirm. Um, that up tilt is super risky. It has such a long uh, recovery. Um, yeah. it, it, like there he goes for it again. Um, oh, nice back air. Unable to confirm there. Cloud doing a good job. Roll dodging out of it. Oh, that forward air almost killed. Yeah, that it makes it be, so yeah. hot. That up air. He's making good use of his back airs, too. They have a, if I remember correctly, they have a slightly quicker uh, active frames than the forward air with the flame. So you can okay. really use it as sort of like a uh, get out of jail card if you're able to um, input it quickly enough. That's one thing I've always been so bad at is like turning around and getting those back airs. Yeah. You know, and not turning around. <laughs> yeah, it, it's definitely, it's, it's an art form. Uh, wow. That was <laughs> a double recovery. side B. <laughs> yeah, goodness gracious. So looks like this cloud's kind of caught on to Neil's tricks a little bit. So Neil's going to have to get a little bit more creative you know, to, to land some damage. Yeah. Um, good combo right there. Yeah, that's sort of down tilt for the slide. Um, almost was able to string it into something more, but... Yeah, I mean, like I said, it seems pretty even. I think the Cloud was initially getting the, uh, getting the sort of pace for the first stock, and now they're both kind of, you know, creating blows. Uh, but he, he does have his limit break now, which is scary. Oh, and he... Oh, no, he, he waited his inborn frames out. That's sad. Interesting. Good little roll dodge there, both sides. I'd like to see that leaf shield come back out to kind of set up the combos. Yeah, have he's a hard playing. Time landing stuff through shield. Yeah, and and Neil's playing super aggressive right now, so he doesn't have time. But if he, I mean, he can afford to play a sort of more range game. Nice up smash. Yeah, already a full full uh, charge again on that little break. Misses it though, and that's going to be not a kill, but. Yeah, both are kind of in that kill range. It's just yeah. who, lands, who lands the first blow. Neil Good nice back air. Oh, can't and quite another land one. It. Oh, this is this is so close. That's oh. something like right here. If you get a grab. Oh, there nice. we go. Yeah, the there we go, Neil. Tilt. Yes. Let's go. Awesome. Let's go. You know, he was fishing those up tilts before, and he finally was able to get the up tilt out of shield. That or, reminds me of, out of shield. Of Ken, draw you can. Draw you can. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And that is a clutch save there from Neil. I mean, if he's able to get even one stock in this next fight, you know, yeah, that's a that's lead. Super clutch because you know that could have went either way. So yeah, um, for sure. Props to Neil. Stream debut, clutching out that close one there. And I know, like, I've been playing in you know these tournaments the last two weeks. I've been playing a little bit more competitive, and it's like it's so nerve wracking when both of you are like 
You don't yeah. want to get you don't want to get greedy, but it's so hard to not just like you see the red triple digit right. percentage and you just get like so thirsty for that kill. It's like yep. oh, I just gotta land one and smash. You know attack, your palms smash, start smash, sweating smash. a little bit. Yeah, yeah you well, start spamming kill moves. Like, yeah, so you, you know. just start playing like a lot more reckless. I'm, I know I have to catch yeah. myself. Like, hey, just land your you know your tilts and things like that, and wait for opportunities. Like that's yeah. what I'm learning is like I'm always I always play really aggressive and I always have forever. Like I played Pikachu. And I played like I've been playing Lucas, but I, you know, Sonic and things like that, where it's like you just want to like pressure constantly. But then I just get like beat because like I'm very not like telegraph, but it's just like I've learned in this game you have to be like be patient. Yeah, like, I mean, and Ultimate is a very uh, sort of there's a lot of really strong ranged characters and ranged options, meaning that like if your opponent knows how to stuff any like sort of hyper aggressive play, it can be really hard to get ahead. Um, and we kind of saw that with Mega Man, right? Um, where he just, towards the end, he started spacing really well and keeping Cloud out of his, like, you know, um, sort of vulnerable ranges and uh, was able to eventually uh, just sort of death by a thousand cuts and get the kill. <laughs> yeah. Well, and landed that one attack, right? Was just, like, yeah. patiently waiting. So Yeah, all it takes yeah. is one. You just gotta, like, yeah, you just gotta try and, you know, let them be the aggressor. It's, all, it's, it's interesting, because it's, like, there are certain times you want to, you know, put the pressure on but a lot of times like i said like playing defensively is almost like a better strategy because <laughs> then it's right. like you're playing it's a little you can you can play reactive you know and it's not like a bad thing you know it's like yeah. oh okay i can see there they want to land this well, i just need to like shield through it and i can do this to counter so right uh yeah interesting strategies there but looks like both uh teams are doing picks and bans right now so um we'll see what they land on we had a <laughs> infamous uh Yoshi's uh, Yoshi's stage in the in the last match. Oh really? <laughs> I'd never seen Yoshi's, but apparently it's an option. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's I, I've never seen it. I, I'm sad that I wasn't there to bear witness. Uh, Callus, uh, classic stage. Uh... Yeah, it's interesting too. Like you know, I've play, was playing Lucas. Uh, for some reason, I've always loved Battlefield, but like playing with platforms against certain characters is miserable. And oh yeah. So, like I was picking like you know, I played against Rowan, he was Rob on Town of like, Town of City or Town of Country or whatever, Town of City. And I could not kill him. Like Right. Because <laughs> it was such yeah, a big the map. platform yeah, yeah. And like yes. Kalos also has uh, really large blast zones. Um, yeah. It's very easy to survive from percentages that you just normally wouldn't be able to do on a like a typical map. Yeah. Um, and I think that kind of benefits uh both characters right now, you know, Mario the the, the vanilla character. Um, technically, Mario didn't do a little tauntaroo, but that's okay. Throw him and get him with the forward air. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see how this will go. Yeah, I guess Mario might be a good, and that's a good punish on that. Uh, that was a fair. Oh yeah, this uh, this Mario, he's taking a lot of risky options um, with the yeah. upbees and the. It's just so the funny. I like thought I was good at this game because I played with my friends, you know, and I played for all the time. And right. The area, and I'm like, I would just do Pikachu's uh, down down smash. Yeah, the thunder. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, not the thunder, but like the spin, like the. Oh the, the yeah, tail yeah. Tackle, with the, the tail spin, and right. I just like zap zap. Zap, zap and hit him up but we played corn area which has super low blast zones right and on the on the, at least on brawl or whatever and so then i started playing with these guys thinking like oh, yeah, i could probably hang and i learned a lot <laughs> about yeah. i was like wow there's a lot more to this than i thought you know and uh, but neil doing a great job here uh definitely has the mario like that probably would have killed earlier at least to these large blast zones but um, yeah, and this Mario is, uh, I think, sort of over-relying on the cape uh, to try to, like, stuff the um, projectiles that make me lose, but, like, oh, uh, and yeah, that was, oh, man, good DI from the Mario. Almost, yeah, got, the, that. almost got the stop blade to hit him, like, the vertical. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that would have been sick. Yeah, that would have been crazy. Yeah, I feel like this is just going to be, a, like, a slugfest. I mean, there we go, Neil yeah, taking that stock. Look at that. I mean, if he loses that stock last last round, right, it's like, well, now we're down, a, 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 you know, like, we're having to deal with this cloud some more. But I think Neil, honestly, you know, with this map being as big as it is, and, like, if he plays the way he's been playing, definitely could take another stock. Um, I think yeah, absolutely. Three, three would definitely be a challenge. I think it's possible, but, you know, at 80 or 89% already, it's tough. But I think, you know, if he plays his cards right, you know, definitely has a chance to take another one. But even if not, it's already been a success. Yeah, we're ahead. Nice uh, up smash to catch with the uh, sort of hanging hitbox there. And um, 
Yeah, I mean, this party is playing pretty erratically. I'm having a hard time, like, thinking, so <laughs> yeah. it can be tough to, like, uh, play against that, but, um, you know, just as uh, the Mario survived for a long time, we might see uh, Neil here get to, like, 150%, you know, 160, and still be able to survive, especially if this Mario struggles to get the, the sort of uh, kill options out, so... Yeah. I'd like yeah. to see, honestly, if Neil could get that uh, Leaf Shield into an up smash or something along those lines while the, while he's still hit on the, you know, the hitboxes. Is that a kill? Oh, that kill. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is awesome. Just the, oh, like, man. the Game & Watch has got that same, you know, yep. just ridiculous up smash move, I guess. But anyway, yeah. what I was saying is if Neil does that Leaf Shield, he, you know, he gets those stuns onto the Mario. Right. And then can use that to do like a, a attack that's a little bit heavier with a longer leg time, um, because he is stunned out into that. He can't really do anything there. But I wonder if the reflector for the the leaves would reflect while it's still like hanging around Mega Man. I don't think so, but I'm not I'm not sure if it's treated as a projectile until it's already thrown or while it's just floating around. Um, but yeah, he is, he's playing great. Oh yeah. Well, now you see 182 percent, right? And that's yeah. That's not happening on FD or. No. <laughs> Or a small battlefield, but um, you know Neil could go for the miracle run here, and I think he's probably two two shots away from being killed. Um, yeah, I mean a lot of it depends on this Mario managing to find the um, you know solution here because Mario doesn't have a ton of like like easy moves that can kill. You know you have your up B that would do it right now, any smash attack. But if Neil plays safe enough, like he's playing right now really well, he could just get the stock before uh, this Mario can even find a. a an option to get the kill. I mean, yeah, th that throw barely did anything at 190. You know. Just oh like my goodness. Yeah, he just like to the face. He just charged that. <laughs> just charged it to the face. I mean, no cape, nothing. He's just uh, like getting after it. Um, and you can tell the Mario is scared now. Like he's playing really kind of far back. He, he didn't even try to contest that charge. Uh, oh, that might do it now. Good DI. I guess I was wrong, right? Yeah, I said two two hits. <laughs> I mean, any smash attack at this point, but it looks like the Mario is relying a lot on these tilts. And so there's a yeah. attack right there. Like you said, a very erratic. It's kind of hard to predict. Um, yeah. But, yeah. If you got the, uh, if you got a forward air or a back air, that would kill too. Um, but yeah, right now they're just dancing around each other because both know. Oh, nice parry. Uh, wasn't able to capitalize. I think he might have been going for a back air there. I think uh, this is the definition of death by a thousand cuts. Yes. <laughs> Literally with the saw blades and everything. <laughs> and there's oh, oh, there we Look go. Look at that. Side smash. The Neil with three, three stocks. Wow, what a beautiful. I mean, well, he didn't three stock it, but he, he got three stocks and only lost one. Yeah. Another clutch from Neil showing the ice in the veins this round. Yeah, that was, that was excellent. Well done. Definitely setting up the team for success as we still have Eli and Avery in the hole. Um... And yeah, yeah, the uh, St. Francis University has definitely uh, got an uphill battle right now. Um, For sure. Is it, it's St. Francis, right? St. Francis? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Sounds right. If not, it's okay. Yeah. Best nephew. But... My, my bad uh, if it's actually like St. Francisco University or something. I don't know uh, if you're watching. No, I think it's St. Francis. But yeah, good stuff from, uh, from Neil. You know, on the stream debut... You yeah, know, flexing a little bit, going uh, three stocks for one twice in a row now. So um, yeah, that's six pretty... stocks. That's a that's profit, you know. Yeah, by the that books. is profit. Yeah, pretty awesome stuff. So um, yeah, pretty exciting stuff uh, all the way around. And so we'll see if Neil can, you know, Hercules this uh, into a nine stock. Um, but if the not, you know, not a... is that who we're uh, up against here? I apologize, I'm checking. Oh yeah, yeah, it's all good. Uh, yeah, we're up against the Bayonetta. Definitely a scary character. Not nearly as good as her last incarnation, where she was basically broke the game um, by yeah. herself. But she's still got a lot of tricks. Um, and because she's not a terribly popular pick in Ultimate, I found that she can really like pull out wins you wouldn't expect. Oh, they're gonna have to restart. Oh yeah, that's a reset. Yeah. That's Neil a reset. Got... Yeah, he got a little thirsty there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, the the bloodlust was in his eyes. He, the blood, you know. the bloodlust was in his eyes there. So yeah, he'll just <laughs> run off the ledge here, uh, or not. Uh, Neil, yeah. you gotta. You, you, yeah, I, I, I think they're probably inexperienced, and so yeah. Uh, unless the team gets real technical about it, they're probably texting like, "Hey, my bad," you know. 
we'll just restart it here. In the meantime, Bayonetta uh, just in the high heel. Gun, oh yeah. Gun heels. <laughs> yeah, cleaned <laughs> up, you know. Just uh, killing, yeah. So he runs off here. We'll see if they uh, if they you know choose a technicality as like, well, you attacked us, or if they just you know no harm no foul. We'll just reset it and you know yeah, Neil's we'll only his second match ever, so um, you know learning. I know that if I were. Uh, behind the screen, I would probably make that mistake more than I'd like to admit. Um, you know, we're just like, alright, let's play, and you, you forget to actually give your stocks up. It appears that they are taking the stock if they're switching characters. Yeah, and that might just be a mistake, but, you know, it'll be alright. Like yeah, and I mean, you part know, of the learning rules process. is rules. Yeah. It's a great, uh, me, by the way. Just really beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> And that should signal that Avery's coming out. Uh, That's right. Me characters. So. Uh, Good old me gunner. Uh, another sort of dark horse character, not commonly seen. So, um, and definitely a lot less sort of iconic, I'd say, than Bayonetta. You know. Um, so that I think, in terms of the underdog fight, I got you know, outside of you know rooting for Emery, I got to give it up to the me gunner. Alright, so apologize. I'm taking care of some directorial things here in the in the background. So uh, those of you on screen watching me uh, just not talk. Hello. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry, I should have uh, filled in the air there. Oh, it's all but... good. I didn't say anything. <laughs> but anyway, yes, me Gunner in the house. Um, and this will be three stocks against three stocks. So um, we'll yeah, see what. A clean, classic match. This is uh, Bayonetta is the hope of St. Francis right now. Um, if uh, this player isn't able to get the win. I do uh, love just the gigantic fists that come out of portals for the. Players. Oh yeah. Uh, it, it, it's so much. <laughs> And it's really hard if you don't know how to play against it, even if she's not as strong as she was, like, it has so much range, those smash attacks, it's just so, uh, dominating in terms of space. But it seems like Avery's playing as well. Um, it's another, Bayonetta's gimmick character personified, like, all of the sort of, like, dashes into, like, little gun moves and more dashes, uh, which time, yep. That's, uh, yeah, it's like the, one of the strangest counters, but yeah, I mean, me Gunner uh, accruing some serious damage at this point, and that is yeah, that does it. Wow. Teeth. Oh, in the tea so, bag. Uh oh. Little BM. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what's going on. Okay, now they go. <laughs> I was gonna okay. say, what are we doing here? Uh, but you know, leave it to Avery Pineapple Water to. Uh, with a, yeah, I've never seen any B me Gunner gameplay, so I feel like this is quite a learning experience. But this looks like. He it's like a uh, great value Samus, not in terms of strength, but in terms of like how the kit works, you know. Though, of course, there there are different moves, but you can see it has this ID for the rocket, uh, the smash attack is just like bow bow bow. Nice grab, um, maybe he could have got a smash attack off, but I don't think that he expected the reverse uh, smash attack. Yes, yeah, so... Getting ready to roll, huh? <laughs> That's an elimination. Yeah. Avery just uh, gonna jump on the platform. Bayonetta just says, nah, I'll take oh. it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just a thunder fist to the face. Yeah. Uh, elimination. Avery's, you know, with the invuln frames, just runs straight at Bayonetta, uh, grabs her. Uh, it makes sense. Oh, it didn't manage to get the punish there. There's been a couple of times that the Bayonetta's just done a smash attack in the wrong direction. Um, it's hard to predict, I suppose, but uh, punishing that's definitely a good idea. Yeah. Avery just... Uh, Oh, and that's an SD. Yeah. Oh that no, that's so sad. <laughs> Rest in peace. That's an SD and a round one victory round one, for yeah. Avery and Henry. And beautiful stuff there. And the Hold eyes. On, Elijah the, didn't even get to play. The creepy eyes on the top of the head. Uh, <laughs> what a what a, a chat. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Yes. Well, good deal. Well, that uh, concludes at least this first set of this crew battle. Emery and Henry now. Um, uh, up 1-0, so um, we will be back in just a minute with the stream here. Aaron, do we have a filler video? We do. We'll be back in just a few. Peace. Okay. Well, uh, here we go. Game one of the Bears versus the Stingers. Uh, let's see how it goes. I feel like the Wolf matchup is probably pretty tough for DK. Uh, it's a very <laughs> yeah. combo-heavy character, a lot of confirms and conversions. Um, really and good. His projectile is one of the better ones yep. too. Yep. 
uh, and DK is kind of slow and big, so it's hard for, probably be a little bit harder for him to get in. But yeah, in nature, I would take a silver back over a wolf like any day, though. To be no, not true. gonna lie to you. And I mean, based on the start, uh, in video games, it's probably worth taking the silverback too, because, uh, ooh, that nice was weird. interruption <laughs> to prevent that up -y, but, oh, oh he went ding dong. Weird, don't like ding dong. <laughs> Let yeah, him come that was like the down delayed first. ding dong. Uh, interesting. Uh, he's charging up that, uh, neutral V, any chance he gets, um, you know, it's, oh, that was That's an interesting right. play. Right, and we are back as they're getting ready. We do want to apologize. Uh, we're our moderator. Uh, we're moderating our chat, and apparently there was uh, an unfortunate person who felt the need to say some uh, appropriate, unfortunate things. So we do apologize for that. We did get this uh, clown banned, and so they are <laughs> they are out of here. Go. Don't need to worry about that, that anymore. Um, we just call a spade a spade. So you know, everybody obviously is welcome in our stream, but obviously don't people saying dumb stuff which i guess one of them was that the the cast was poor but you know i think we do a pretty good job jay so you know we don't take like any offense. So. we yeah. don't take any offense to that um so it looks like uh eli is going to be the first one um starting off this round um busting out the link which i got the pleasure of getting bodied by yesterday <laughs> um and yeah good stuff so we'll get to link see has eli. some really cool stuff going on with the bombs i'm hoping to see some sick little uh bomb action from the from the link yeah between you and i i hate the link characters it's <laughs> yeah just, i seem to remember you telling me that before yeah just projectile spam spam city until like you know forever and ever uh, but, yeah you know it is what it is so i know eli is uh very efficient on the oh i guess he jumped off they must have changed so oh yeah, there. some sort of technical difficulty, I reckon. I'm probably yeah. communicating once again. So, probably a map situation. You get to watch a lot of people just Yay! jumping off uh, today. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah, so, um, we'll get things rolling here. Um, all set. So, uh, yeah. So, I can announce officially that uh, our FIFA player, um, Brando, has checked in to his match and opponent did not so that is the first official win of the season for Emory let's Henry. go everybody else lost last week in every game <laughs> so we have a w on the board there we go um, baby let's go FIFA. so uh, a new guy brandon brito um he is playing for it with us uh he's a, a soccer player here at emory and henry and is playing fifa um hey, for us. had a, a close a very close match last week and ended up losing um, or wait, I think C4 might have won in FIFA last week. Maybe I have to double oh. check. <laughs> Either way, first week, first win of the week, and so we take those. So uh, anyway, we're just chilling here. It looks like that we're getting everything um, reset here. Um, they're probably yeah. communicating about something, and yeah. So in the meantime. Uh, yeah, what's new in life, J underscore? Oh, uh, you know, um, just getting by, uh, finishing up my, uh, associate's degree. So, looking forward to getting that wrapped up by the end of the semester. Not at Emory, uh, unfortunately, but at, uh, a different college, so. Hey, yeah. you gotta do, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, but, uh, things are going pretty good. How, how are, how's life going with you, man? Oh, you know, it's just great. Couldn't be better. Um, no, just working a lot. I'm excited about the esports season. Um, yes, yes. Been picking up, you know, playing a little bit of Smash like I used to back in the day, and that's been a lot of fun. Uh, my son turned five last week, so that's exciting. Oh, uh, happy birthday! In, uh, June 11th or J January 11th, but we had his birthday party. He had a DJ themed party, so we had a rave in front of our house. So that was pretty fun. Oh, that sounds uh, great. But yeah, it, everything's good. Um, just getting like i said my family was sick the last two weeks so we're finally getting over that crud so hopefully that's the last of the sickness for this uh this season of life but anyway we go to fd it looks like and okay. we have yeah. bayonetta versus link round two and eli already off to a better start yeah <laughs> <was last> time. 
Yeah, yeah this is much different. Uh, basically the opposite uh, of the first match, which I, assuming that there was an issue, then, you know, to be expected. Nice witch time for the Bayonetta and for the uh, down air. Um, man, it, it, Bayonetta is such a fast character, it's, it can be very overwhelming to keep track of what exactly she's doing. Um, a lot of uh, air dodging. Yeah, I feel like the end punish. leg on those smash attacks, though, is pretty long. And, like, as long oh, it as you is. Or roll dodge through it, like, yeah. Eli's taking advantage, you know, getting the grabs and things of that nature. Um, but Vanada trying to close the distance here through all the projectiles from Link, of course. Yeah. Um, it's definitely an interesting matchup uh, where you Link. Ooh, wow. That just did it, huh? Just one sword slap to the face. That's uh, an elimination. <laughs> yeah. Link just yeah. does so much damage. I feel like he's a very underrated character. I know a few people play. Uh, I don't know how what his competitive scene looks like per se, but I know he's not terribly popular. But he's definitely a character with a high uh, skill ceiling, and uh, he's, he's always struck me as being pretty good all around. You know, not necessarily exceptional in any field, but it's like the bomb ledge guarding potential. Yeah, um, and you can do some really cheeky are... stuff with bomb recoveries where you can like blow yourself up sort of like a snake. Um, it's definitely, yeah. like I was never a, oh wow, <laughs> I just did another uh, smash yeah, attack on. to get the stock. Uh, but I, I was never a huge fan of Link back in the day, but with the with the bomb, it's, it, he's grown on me quite a bit. Yeah, well interesting, right? There's three iterations of Link characters in this game. That's true. Yeah, there's a lot of Link. Toon Link, regular Link, and Young Link, which Young Link was from uh, Melee. Right, and yeah. from Brawl, and yep, that's right. they just said, we don't need any more links. <laughs> <laughs> no, they said that's about it. That's and there's it. a Zelda and a Sheik, you know, there's like, in the old games, they're the same character. Yeah, uh, that's, that's right. That's yeah. a good three-star for wow. Eli. <laughs> wow, good stuff. Yeah, we were just kind of riffing. <laughs> Meanwhile, Eli just gets that Well, I mean, wow. just solid gameplay from Eli and, uh, you know, showing proficiency on Link as well, so... That's a good pocket pick to have in the in the back, you know. Has main, Absolutely. mainly Greninja in the past and has a very good Greninja, but you know, in certain matchups, the Link probably is a better pick. Yeah, I mean, I can't remember um, playing against or rather seeing his uh, Link. Um, I've seen his Greninja a lot, which is really good, but it's, it's definitely interesting to see him uh, play uh, Link as well. Yeah, well, I think he just picked it up like the last week or so so right you know he's uh you know, that's, about... that's some pretty incredible improvement in a pretty short amount of time well i would i would agree with you on that <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like we're right back into it and the cloud will be the next uh pick so i would say just from last match or last round probably their best player in yes, my opinion i i would agree um definitely the strongest uh so far uh, and yeah, I mean, it's interesting they're letting FD through, because I feel like if I were uh, playing against the Link, I would, like, ban that, like, you know, pretty quickly. Yeah. That projectile game is a lot stronger when you literally only have one platform to be on. Yeah. Just to say, you know. Well, this Cloud definitely uh, putting in some work here. Yeah, really sort of gets that advantage immediately and just is keeping, uh, is keeping uh, Elijah on the edge, but... Um, Already making a pretty good comeback. I don't think that'll do it now. Yeah, Link's kind of like a closet heavy character to some degree. Yeah. Oh wow, that, like, that killed. Yeah, that dash attack weird. into that, unfortunate, but the little combo, like I guess if the, the boomerang hits on the back swing, um, you know, can do that. I always was like, when I played Link in the past, because I played a lot of random, you know, I get extra sweaty for those uh, up Bs in the air. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> the flash play, and that's a dash. Oh, the dash attack. Through the phase, rest yep. in peace. So one apiece here now from the cloud and the Link. Bomb now coming this direction. Yeah, there's a lot of, <laughs> that, that was a funny little hot potato moment yeah. there. Uh, nobody knew what they wanted to do. Uh, and I mean, yeah, the cloud is definitely playing well. He, he's uh, got a good start. Nice up uh, boomerang. Straight. Yeah, I mean, it's like if you can get that boomerang to get like that stun, like that, if you're, like, then you can you know, put that in. Attacker. Yeah. I'm learning a lot of that with Lucas because a lot of his attacks stun and like trying to combo that stuff. But, uh, the inputs can be tricky, so just whiffs on the limit there. Yeah. And it's uh, really a very even match, all things considered. Uh, it, Elijah had a pretty tricky start at the beginning, but he's definitely sort of evened it out. Ooh. Nice! Oh, uh, oh that was combo. nice. 
wombo combo there, the boomerang into the, the shield slash, but it doesn't quite end in a kill, but... The bomb got him me. back on stage. I don't know if Eli was expecting the bomb to uh, <laughs> send him right back here. Yeah, that was... Negative. That's funny. To me, it's funny that Link has a kick, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> of, all the, of all the things Link can do, which a nice uh, up B there from uh, Eli to get that second kill confirmed. Uh, this, yeah, didn't land him in that chain of that up B yeah. cloud. But anyway, all that being said, you know, he's a sort And then I noticed, too, his grab is different as well. He doesn't have that chain anymore. Right, yeah, they gave that what to you um, call that? Young Link uh, and uh, good old... Uh, Toon Link. They, I think they still have the chain. At least one yeah. of them. That's getting real, real dicey here. <laughs> yeah, he. I know he'd like to get this stock without losing another one, but oh wow, yeah. The side smash into next week. It still has that limit. Yeah. See if he can do anything with it. And Eli just says, Nah. Oh yeah. That was, that was a nice interrupt. And all of a sudden, Eli's in the advantage. Yeah, we'll see. Um, that's. Wow. I don't, I don't know, I'm not exactly sure why they said that was a kill. Yeah. I thought maybe <laughs> it was a little, a little interesting from the perspective of the uh, Smash game, but. It's funny how know. sometimes they're like, yeah, this is definitely a kill. That's, and it's like, oh, that's no, a no, kill. That does it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That one is a kill. Sorry, I feel like I'm spoiling it for you. I think I have a slightly faster. <laughs> I think you do too. The, like the stream is a little laggy. Yes, yeah. No. I uh, apologize for if I'm spoiling it for you, but oh, you know, no, it's gonna be more, okay. more hype in the time. So, and Eli might just might just swing through this whole thing um, if they have their Mario again. Like definitely the most sporadic, inconsistent player I'd say. Um, right. As we know, uh, I guess Neil lost one stock against them, but yeah, we'll yeah, see. Yeah, and a Mario happening. might have a tough time against the uh, against the Link as well. He has the reflector, but it's only so good, you know. It yeah, it can only get you so far. Well, it's just so hard to close the distance on, like, a projectile character that's, you know, like, like, they have the arrows, the boomerangs, the bombs. It's like, yeah. what do you do? Like, you just have to dodge all that stuff just to get to them. And then on top of it, Lynx has very strong smash attacks, tilts, and it's, it's, it's uh, pretty wild stuff. But, yeah, we'll see if they go with something else other than the Mario or if they swing it onto the Mario. I think they're doing uh, picks and bans here again, trying to decide on a map. So, right what ends up happening here. Yeah, I mean, we might go back to Kalos. Uh, I feel like if I were playing against Link, I'd, I wouldn't mind Kalos necessarily. Uh, yeah, there's just also an just an eternity. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Good old fashioned Battlefield is also never really a bad idea, I don't think, especially on um, the Mario characters where the projectiles have really great coverage from the platforms. You know, you can kind of get a lot of the stage covered all at once. Uh, yeah. See what comes through. I guess we're just taking a minute or two. To or the to the like... real shocker, if if there's no Mario at all, and we get to see like you know Duck Hunt or something. Hey, why not, right? Yeah. It's a projectile. But yeah, we'll just wait and see. I wonder what music they chose for the arena. It's all about the. So I that's can't... true. Yeah. We have uh... we have no sound, so that's a bummer. Whenever uh, I set up an arena, it's always Megalovania. Interesting. <laughs> I always rock the, uh, I guess we changed to dark. I always rock the Super Mario Sunshine. Dun, dun, That's great. Dun, dun, yeah. Delfino Plaza. Yep. Um, town and city, so a big map. Yeah, I think that's to the benefit of the Mario. Uh, we'll see, though. Oh. I'm trying to think of the other song. Oh, the Persona song, you know. Never see it coming. You know, that, that's yes. a classic. Well, I do Star Wolf as well uh, from Star Fox. That was one of my oh, favorites yeah. back in the day. Yeah. But yeah, it's so funny to me, you know, like on like Smashville, it's like the most peaceful sound ever, right? Right. <laughs> and it's just like you're just smashing each other literally into oblivion to this yeah. full Animal that, Crossing music. That's why I love yeah. Villager and Isabel as like characters in this game. You know, these really just sweet little dudes uh, yes. that are just beating the heck out of like, you know, the angel of death Sephiroth. Like, oh you know? yeah. Well, I call Isabel the god of death, right? You yeah. Know, like with her fishing pole of death. Oh and yeah. Her, her little bomb and stuff. And Eli just putting in some serious oh, yeah. work and Jay. combos. We're hardly any time in, and it's already at 116 to zero. That's uh, got to be intimidating. That's gonna do it. Yup. Wow. Catch him on the back end. 
that's easy to forget though that Link's up smash just covers so much of yeah, his both hitbox. sides and above. Yeah. Like, yeah. And Eli just comboing these tilts one after oh, the other. Oh, look at that! Yeah. And just like instantly 45 damage, or 49 damage. So, yeah. He's playing. He's playing nice. Uh, this Mario is gonna have a really hard time. I think. Yeah. I think you can uh, start the bus on this one. Uh, for the SFU, but we never know what could happen. Yeah, it's never uh, over till it's over, you know. Yes, but you know, I would be if I was a betting man, I'd put my money on Eli to uh, clutch this one out, and if not, the other two would probably be sufficient with their six stops. But you know, yeah. maybe just Mario. Wouldn't oh, that be the dream though? Back and forth. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> but wouldn't it be the dream if this Mario manages to get like the you know reverse sweep? I, I'd, I'd honestly not even be that mad. It's like being like, down in tennis because I played tennis like. 0 5 and you're set yeah. for love 40, triple set for triple set point, and then you come back from the depths of despair and win, which I, it's happened before, yeah. enough. Um, but yeah, you know, Eli with that steady 8.8 percent damage, probably not going to be being eliminated anytime soon. Yeah, he's he's really playing this just sort of surgically. Um, the Mario is, uh, I think, struggling to sort of figure out how to play against this Link and. Um, there's no need for Eli to rush here, you know, he can just, you know, take his time. He only does have one stock, but uh, Mario's struggling to get the damage up, so, yeah, there you go, like, already at 106, probably gonna go for a kill option now. There it is. <laughs> that's, a, that's a swingarama, and that is a full sweep for Eli. Um, second time yeah. he's done that on the stream, in his uh, stream, stream career, so, that is a win for, for Emery and Henry, they win the set 2-0. Um, against S SFU, and so big ups and congratulations to our B team as they get back to 500 up uh, at one and one, and honestly a really impressive showing all around. Yeah, terrific, uh, terrific performance, absolutely. Yeah, Neil showing out for his first time on stream, um, yep. played very well, um, and then we didn't get to see a ton of Avery, but definitely took care of business with that me gunner um, yeah. on that bayonetta, and then Eli just wipes the team by himself. So um, yeah, I would say. Um, this is, you know, a pretty strong both A and B team, pretty strong iterations of our teams. And Absolutely. So, um, yeah, pretty awesome stuff. Had to wave off a few people here <laughs> as we're getting ready to close out the stream. But anyway, uh, that's us signing off, I guess. Eli, or yeah. Eli. Uh, Jay, do you have anything else for the for the people? Uh, look forward to the show that's coming up. Hopefully, uh, next Monday. Um. Come on down if you're in the area to Wasp Weeklies. It's this Sunday. Uh, what's the time again? Uh, uh, I think it's uh, 5, but I know it is the Super Bowl this week. So Yeah, yeah if like you're not it. watching the Super Bowl, uh, or if we change the time, um, which I don't I don't think there's plans to, but who knows, uh, yeah. feel free to come on down. It's always a good time. I'll probably be there. And uh, thank you all for watching, as always. It's been a blast. Adios. Bye.